Now, Ross, you have a great relationship with NCMT with their Akuma products here at Bromford Industries. Now, you've got this Maltus B400. Now, this is a multi-axis machine, but could you tell us a little bit why you've chosen this machine for your needs? Well, really, I think we were engaged with, with NCMT in the outset because they've supported Bromford over a number of years in product availability and the type of product that we want to use for the, for the products that we're working on for a customer. Overall, the um, B400 is a multi-axis machine, it's a very rigid machine, but it's, it's a clever machine more than anything else. The things that you can do with it gives us the flexibility to put a range of products on there across different customer bases and different product types. Now, talking about types of products you're manufacturing here, it's very much engine components and also landing gear. Are you using this uh, Maltus for both components? Yeah, we, we produce engine, core engine components, landing system parts on there for a multitude of customers. And when, when you look at uh, this machine, obviously you've got a five axis head here. That gives you the opportunity of being much more flexible than maybe using other machines or a number of machines for your components. Yeah. It allow, it does, just as you said there, it allows us to do multi multiple complex operations in one operation on this machine rather than it go through op to op through different machines in the, in the factory where we could be going from a lathe to a lathe to a mill to a mill back to a lathe again. This machine can incorporate all of those operations in one or two. Ross at Bromford Industries, apprenticeships is quite key to you guys for you know the next engineers coming through. Now do they get to actually use these type of machine or this Akuma? Uh, both of them on the the Akuma MUs. We've had the apprentices in there. The one we've got four apprentices here at the moment. Two of them have been here for a number of years. Two of them are in their first year. But the ones who've been here for a number of years, they've been working over the last 12 months, a significant amount of that time on the Akuma MUs, and they've learnt a great deal on that for the forefront because this is the modern technology. We want to engage them on that, get them really excited, and see where this type of industry is going. Not keep them shut away. They need to they need to learn the basics in grinding, turning, and milling but we need to expose them to this new type of machinery to keep that interest and keep them on the forefront of machine utilisation and what's coming through in the future. So what you're really telling me, this, uh, this Maltus uh, B400, it's been obviously a, a very good acquisition for your customers' needs, the, the type of products that you're actually manufacturing for the aerospace sector. In the future, if you had this demand, would it be in a, another Akuma? Oh, quite possibly, but we're open to looking at all types of machines at the moment. What will suit the product that we're, looking, we're, we're um, producing for our customers, what we win in from business um, development from there. We, will, we then go through stages and see what is the best product that's on the market that's going to give us a, a longevity of the machine's life itself and overall there's paybacks in there, but what will give us the best um, manufacturing um, flexibility on site. And when I look at the actual investment that you've had with NCMT, it obviously seems to be going their way. Yes, they've had quite a, uh, the lion's share of our investment over the last number of years. But overall, because that, it's a partnership and it, NCMT are very much a partner with Bromford in deciding the type of machinery that will be best suited to the products we're producing.